Jelly Bean Story Page The Big Catch for the Big Party In the heart of the forest, where tall trees swayed and rivers sparkled like diamonds in the sun, lived two mischievous raccoons named Riku and Taro. Best friends since they were cubs, the two loved nothing more than an adventure. Today, they had a special mission, fishing for the biggest fish in the river. Why? The forest festival was just around the corner, and this year, they wanted to surprise everyone with the ultimate dish, a giant fish feast. The forest was buzzing with excitement. Animals everywhere were preparing for the festival. Birds gathered berries, squirrels stacked acorns, and rabbits baked carrot cakes. But Riku and Taro? They had their sights set on something bigger. Today's the day, Taro, Riku said, tightening his bandana around his head. His bright eyes gleamed with determination. We'll catch the biggest fish the forest has ever seen, Taro exclaimed, grabbing his lucky fishing pole. No one will expect it. They scampered down to the river bank, where the water shimmered under the bright blue sky. The air smelled of pine and adventure. Riku set up the fishing poles, while Taro dug into their basket and pulled out their secret bait, glowworms. Fish love these. He grinned. As they cast their lines into the water, they sat back and waited. Time passed, and smaller fish nibbled on their bait, but they let them go. We're not settling for anything but the biggest, said Riku. Suddenly, Taro's pole began to twitch. Then it pulled with a force so strong it almost yanked him into the river. Riku, I think I got something huge, he shouted, gripping the pole with all his might. Riku rushed over to help. Together, they pulled and tugged with all their strength, the fish on the other end resisting fiercely. The water splashed and swirled, and for a moment, it seemed like they might lose the catch of a lifetime. Hold on, Taro, Riku urged. With one final heave, the fish burst out of the water. It was enormous. Its scales shimmered like gold, and it was easily the size of both raccoons combined. We did it. They cheered, high-fiving each other. But as they admired their catch, the fish began to speak. Wait. Don't eat me, it said in a deep, rumbling voice. Riku and Taro gasped in surprise. You can talk? Taro asked, eyes wide. Yes, said the fish, and if you let me go, I can show you something even more magical than just one fish. The raccoons looked at each other, unsure. What kind of magic? Riku asked cautiously. The fish swished its tail in the water, creating ripples that glowed. I know a secret spot in this river where the water sparkles with light, and it's filled with treasures from the stars. You'll find all the food you'll need for the festival there, enough to feed the whole forest. Taro thought for a moment and then nodded. I believe you, he said, releasing the fishing line. Riku followed suit, trusting his friend's instincts. As soon as the fish was free, it led them down the river to a hidden cove. There, the water glowed with a magical light, and in the depths, they could see baskets filled with shimmering fruits, sparkling vegetables, and, of course, fish, each one more beautiful and unique than the last. This is incredible, Riku said, his eyes wide in wonder. The magical fish smiled. The festival is about bringing everyone together. Now you can share this magic with the whole forest. With the help of the fish, Riku and Taro filled their basket to the brim with treasures from the glowing cove. When they returned to the forest, the animals gathered in awe of the magical feast the raccoons had brought. The forest festival was a roaring success, with everyone laughing, dancing, and enjoying the delicious food. And at the center of it all were Riku and Taro, the two raccoons who had brought a little bit of magic to their friends. As the sun set, and the fireflies began to twinkle in the night, Taro turned to Riku. You know, he said, maybe the real treasure wasn't the fish, but the friends we shared it with. Riku smiled and nodded. And the adventure along the way. The two raccoons clanked their cups together, ready for their next adventure. The end.